Hello mga Mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan pa rin natin ay tungkol sa topic na differentiating sequence and series na week 7 ng inyong mga module. Pero i-guide ko kayo dun sa learning task number Number 5, wherein ito yung application ng arithmetic series ninyo. Pero bago kasi mula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan, ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, so find the sum of the first 140 counting numbers. So, kukunin natin yung total ha, ng first 140 counting numbers. So, sa ating uh, arithmetic seri series, we have two formula. So, ang gagamitin natin dito, yung form na, oh wait lang. S sub n, or yung formula na S sub n is equal to n over 2 multiplied by a sub 1 plus a sub n. Wherein yung a sub 1 natin will be our first term. Yung a sub n, last term natin, yung n, yung number of terms. Since we have here, find the sum of the first 140. So, ang counting numbers natin ay nag-start kay 1 hanggang 140. So, this is our a sub 1. This is our uh, last term or yung a sub 140. So, obviously, ang n natin dito ay 140 kasi hanggang 140 nga yung i-add natin. So, having that, our n will be 140 divided by 2, okay, times ang a sub 1 natin ay ilan? 1, kasi yun yung first term natin. Plus, ang a sub n natin, dahil nga 140 terms to, yung pang 140 yet, so that's 140. Okay, so 140 over 2 is how many? So 1 plus 140 is 141. Okay, 140 divided by 2 is how many? 70. So 70 times 141. O, oh, i-calculator na natin para mabilis ha. Pero kayo, kung kaya nyo mag-manual, i-manual nyo na lang. <laughs> kaya lang kasi para hindi na mahaba tong video na to. Mapakita ko na agad sa inyo. So, we have there 70 times 141. So, that's 9,870. Okay, so 9,870. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo for number 1. Now, for number 2, find the sum of the first 40 odd natural numbers. Ha? So, odd numbers yung kukunin natin. Ano-ano ba yung mga odd numbers? Diba, we have 1... 3, 5, 7, at marami pa yan. Pero yung first, uh, 40. Okay? So, paano ba natin siya gagawin? So, let's have this one. Uh, dahil, uh, hindi natin alam kung ano yung pang 40 yet na term. Kasi ang sinabi lang ay first 40. Pero hindi ibig sabihin yung 40 yet term ay 40 siya. Unlike nung nandito sa taas. ha Kasi kung makikita nyo, may common difference ito. Anong common difference natin? When we subtract 7 and 5, you have 2. 5 and 3, you have 2. 3 and 1, you have 2. So, ang common difference natin dito ay 2. Okay? So, ang ating uh, A1 dito ay 1. Okay, so wala tayong A sub N dito kasi nga hindi natin alam yung pang 40th term. Kaya hindi ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Ang gagamitin nating formula ay yung isa. Yung S sub N is equal to N over 2. 2 times A sub 1 kasi yan yung given natin. Plus N minus 1. Tapos dahil may common difference tayo, we have D. Okay. So, ano ang n natin? Ang n natin ay first 40, di ba? So, 40 divided by 2, 
And then 2 times a sub 1, which is 1. So, 2 times 1 plus n. Ang n natin ay 40 minus 1. And then, ang d natin 2. Okay? So, what is 40 divided by 2? You have there. Oh, wait lang. You have there 20, di ba? Okay, times 2 times 1, you have 2 plus, what is 40 minus 1? You have there 39, di ba? 39 times 2. Okay, unahin muna natin to. So, you have your 20 times 2 plus, what is 39 times 2? Okay, <laughs> 39 times 2. So, we have 78, okay? 78. Okay, so we have 2 times the 78, that is 80. So, 20 times 80, you will have here 1,600. So, yung sum ng first of 40 odd natural numbers is 1,600. So, that's how are you going to do, o yan yung gagawin ninyo dyan sa number 2 ninyo, ha? Okay, now for number 3, find the sum of all even integers from 12 to 884. Okay, lahat daw ng even integers na mag magsisimula, inclusively. Ibig, kasa Sorry, ibig sabihin, kasama si 12, kasama si 884. So, paano ba ang gagawin natin dyan? Anong formula kaya ang gagamitin natin? Given si a sub 1 natin, that's 12 given din si a sub n natin which is 884. Dahil even numbers to, o kung kung simula sa 12, ano-ano yun? 12, 14, 16, at marami pa hanggang 884. Ano ang common difference natin dito? When we subtract this, you have 2. Ito din, you have 2. E, ibig sabihin, ang common difference natin ay 2. Ang gagamitin nating formula ay... Ano? Aha, no. Kailangan malaman pala muna natin ang ating N. Okay? Kasi ito yung gagamitin natin, di ba? Eh, wala tayong N. Ngayon dito, hindi naman natin siya pwedeng gamitin kasi meron tayong common difference. So, para mahanap natin yung N, balik tayo sa unang-unang formula ng sequence wherein we have A sub N is equal to A sub 1, K plus n minus 1d para ma-solve natin si n. Ang a, a sub n natin is 884 equals to 12. Okay, plus yung n natin nawawala minus 1 and then 2. Okay, and then ito ay distribute. Distribute. <laughs> Nabubulol na si teacher Maria. And then we have 884 is equal to 12 plus 2n minus 2. O, 12 minus 2, ilan? 10. So, you have there here, 10 plus 2n, and then you have here 884. Lipat natin si 10, so, magiging 884 minus 10 equals to 2n. And then, 884 minus 10, you have 874 equals to 2n divided by 2 divided by 2 so, you will have here, teka, 874 divided by 2, 437. So, your N is a 437. Ayan na, kompleto na tayo. Pwede na nating gamitin ito. So, we have here, pagkasya na lang natin na S sub N is equal to N over 2, 2A sub 1 plus n minus 1d. Okay. So, we have here n, which is 437 divided by 2. And then, 2 times a sub 1 natin is 12. Plus n, which is 437 minus 1, times yung d natin na 2. Okay. What is 437 divided by 2? 437 divided by 2. You have 218.5. Oh, wag mag, ano, wag matakot na may point dyan, ha? Okay lang yan. And then, 2 times 12 is 24 plus, what ha, what is 437 minus 1? That's 436 times 2. So, eto muna ang gagawin natin, ha? 218.5 
i-multiply ko muna si 436 times 2 plus 436 times 2. 436 times 2. That's 872. So, 872. Pag in ko si 24 plus 872, you will have here 4, 6, and then 7, 9, 896. Times 21, uh, 218.5. Uh, multiply na natin, ha? We have 218.5. Oops. Dito. 218.5 times 896. That's 195,776. Okay, so ito na yung sagot natin. Oh, nakita ba? Una, kukunin muna natin yung value ni N. Pag nakuha natin yung value ni N, isa-substitute na natin yung given dito sa ating formula. And then, masasolve na natin yung hinahanap. Okay? Now, let's go to number 4. Okay, list the three terms of the first three terms of the first arithmetic. Oh, sorry. List the first three terms of the arithmetic sequence if the 25th term is 35 and the 38th term is 5. Okay, so paano natin ito gagawin? treat natin as a first term, yung 25th term, at last term, yung 38th term. Pero mala dapat malaman muna natin, ilang terms ba ang meron dito? So, we have here 25th, 26th. 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. Okay? So, sa 25th, we have 35. And then, sa 30th, we have 5. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ang N natin dito, kapag ito yung kinonsider natin, ay 6. Ito ngayon yung magiging A sub 1 muna natin for the meantime. At ito naman yung magiging A sub N natin. Or A sub 6. Kasi, 6 terms eh. Okay. O, so, paano na ang gagawin natin dyan? Kailangan natin ma-identify ngayon yung ating D. Paano natin i-identify yung D? So, gagamitin na rin natin yung formula na A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 D. Para makuha natin yung D. Okay? So, ang A sub N natin dito ay 5. Okay? Equals to our A sub 1 which is 35 plus N minus 1. So, ang N natin ay 6 minus 1 and then D. So, we have here 35 plus 6 minus 1 is how many? 5. 5D. And then, o, ano nang mangyayari dito? Ilipat natin to dito. Ha? So, you have 5 here magiging 5 minus 35 equals to 5D. 5 minus 35 is negative 30 equals 5D. Divided by 5, divided by 5, ano na yung D mo? Ang D mo ay equals kay negative 6. Okay? So, meron na tayong D. Ang kailangan nating mahanap ngayon ay yung first three terms. O, hanapin natin yung first term. So, obviously, ang nawawala na dito ay A1. Kasi ito namang A1 natin kanina ay pansamantala lang naman. Okay? So, ito ngayon, magiging 25th term na siya. Kukunin na natin yung totoo niyang uh, pang ilang term siya talaga. So, you have here uh, 35. Okay. O, teka. Ilagay muna natin yung mga given natin para hindi kayo mahirapan. So, nawawala si A1. Okay. Given kayo ng A sub 25. Okay. Which is 35. And then, ilan ang n nun ngayon? 25, di ba? And then, yung difference ninyo ay negative 6. Oh, so, let's solve. So, we have 35 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1. So, 25 minus 1 times yung d mo, which is negative 6. So, 35 is equal to a sub 1 plus 25 minus 1. You have there 24, okay, times negative 6. So, you have your a sub 1 plus what is 24 times negative 6? 24 times 6 na lang muna. 144. Pero dahil negative, negative 144. 
Okay, lipat to sa kabila, you will have here, o oh, yung 35 dyan. Uh, 144, positive na siya, plus 35 equals to A sub 1. So, what is 144 plus 35? You have 9, 4, 7, and 1. So, eto ngayon yung A sub 1 nyo, 179. Okay, paano ngayon si A sub 2? Si A sub 2 will be 179 plus negative 6. Okay? So, what is 179 plus uh, negative 6? That's 173, right? Okay. So, eto ngayon yung A sub 2 nyo. For A sub 3 naman, you have 173 plus negative 6. So, 3, 3. That's 177. Okay, so A sub 1 is 179. A sub 2 is 173. A sub 3 is 177. So, your final answer will be 179, 173. Sorry, hindi pala to 177, 167. Na-excite si teacher Maria. Teka, teka, teka. Okay. Napansin nyo ba? O ako lang nakapansin? <laughs> oh, that's 167. Okay. So, that's it for number 4. Now, let's go to number 5. Find the fifth term of the arithmetic sequence whose third term is 45 and whose tenth term is 80. So, ganun ulit tayo ha. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and then tenth. Okay, ang fifth natin ay wala. Ah, third term pala yung meron tayo. So, fourth and then third. Ang third term natin ay 45. Ang tenth term natin ay 80. Ilan lahat to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Walo lahat, mga anak ko, ha? Ngayon, eto muna ang magsisilbing A sub 1 and then A sub N for the meantime. And then, ang N natin for the meantime ay walo. Na wala tayong D. So, isosolve muna natin yung D natin. Okay? So, ang formula natin ay A sub N is equal to A sub 1 K plus N minus 1 D. Ang A sub N muna natin dito ay 80 equals to A sub 1 nyo which is 45. Okay? Plus, ang N mo ay 8. 8 minus 1 and then D is missing. So, 45 plus 8 minus 1 is 7D. And then, 80 ito. So, lipat si 45. 80 minus 45 is equal to 7D. So, pag minus to, this is 35 is equal to... Di ba itong naisulat ko? <laughs> ba naman kamay ni Teacher Maria? Okay. So, we have 7D. And then, 7D, divide na lang yan. Divide. So, your D is equal to... 5. Ibig sabihin, ang common difference nyo ay 5. Kung 5 yon, kung ito ay 45, so 45 plus 5, that's 50. 50 plus 5, 55. So, the fifth term is 55. Therefore, the fifth term is 55. O, ganun lang mga anak ko. Ha? Sundin lang yung procedure. Kayang-kaya nyo yung sagutan. Ngayon, kung naiintindihan nyo ang video na ito at nagustuhan ninyo, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section. Ha? Mga anak, ang mga comments ninyo ay mahalaga para mapang video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. Kaya please sana sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-iwan ng comment. And pa-share na rin sa mga classmates, mga anak. At huwag namang kalimutan mga anak dumalaw sa Facebook page ni Teacher Maria Love Ma TV. Papalo naman ang ating Facebook page diyan kung hindi kung hindi. Sige, salamat na lang. Ayun niyo eh. Pero i-follow niyo pa rin ha. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of Ma. Thank you and bye.